What the? Something came out of the Eternal Sphere display. Cool. Is that a new feature? Where are the executioners? No clue, but this must be 4D space. Wow, we made it here safely. What a relief. It sure is. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't the enemy's home base supposed to be a little more intense, usually? Wow! Ooh, everything's so sparkly! But this is definitely 4D space. No mistake there. Indeed. What the hell's going on here? Hey, did I hear you say executioner? Uh, yes, you did. Who are you? Vlad Garen. That's not exactly what we meant, kid. Hey, don't worry. I'm not one of the bad guys. Sure about that? Come to my house. I think you may find out what you want to know there. Well... He doesn't look particularly dangerous. True. Maybe we will learn something. That's right. Right. Okay, let's go. It seems like he knows something about the execution. And we've nothing to gain from staying here. Nothing ventured, as they say. Sounds good to me. It's decided, then. Hurry up. Or else security will come. Come on. I'm home. Welcome back. Flat, who are those people? And what's with those weird outfits? Friends, friends of mine. Friends, I see. So, what's your full name? Why do you want to know that? Nothing much. Just something I want to check. My name's Fate Line God. I'm from Earth. Good. Okay. There it is! Wow! Okay, so you are who I thought you were. Great, I believe it now. It's just like Blair said. Blair? Hey, kid, share the info, huh? Don't just sit there with your thinking face on. You're not related to those executioners, are you? No, not really. Hmm, how should I explain this? You guys live in the Eternal Sphere, right? Eternal Sphere? Yeah, check it out. Hey, that's... 
Huh? Why? That's a battle between the Federation and the Executioners. That's right. This is what's happening right now in the Eternal Sphere. What's happening? Hey, kid. What the hell is this Eternal Sphere thing, anyway? How can we see the fight between the Federation and the Executioners? Relax. I'll explain everything. The Eternal Sphere is a universe inside a simulator. Earth is one of the planets inside that universe. A simulator? You can watch the Eternal Sphere and the events happening in the Milky Way on any terminal. And you guys are characters from inside the Eternal Sphere simulator. Hey, what's this kid saying? We're just characters living inside a simulator? That's right. In other words, we're programs? Well, yeah, if you want to put it that way. So, you're saying that our universe is nothing more than a computer game? <clears throat> no, it's an online reality that everyone shares. Nobody can reset it, so it's not what you'd think of as a game. I guess it's kind of a parallel world. I... We're just puppets for you people to manipulate? Well, in a way, yeah. But you all have your own individual AI programs, so you're really not that different from us. It's not like we can move you around with a joystick or anything like that. That's why I think you're more or less like us. You just live in a different dimension. Thus, the parallel world. Mm-hmm. Then what are those executioners? Are they programs too? Mm-hmm, exactly. According to a recent press release, a problem was found in the Milky Way region of the Eternal Sphere simulation. That's where you guys live, right? They say if they don't do something about that problem, it'll affect the entire program. The executioners were sent in to delete anomalies that caused the problem. So they're fixing bugs. You're kidding me. I figured those things weren't gods, but now you're telling me they're programs? But wait. If we're programs, how can we exist here? If what he's saying is true, this should be impossible. Now that I don't understand either. That must be Maria's power. The alteration gene. Yes, that must be it. The power given to me by Professor Leingod. A program created by a program. It's kind of scary if you think about it. Say, kid, how do you know so much about all this? Cuz, my buddy works for the company that developed the Eternal Sphere. Her name is Blair. She told me all sorts of things. But don't get me wrong, I'm really not one of the bad guys. Then why did you bring us here? Mmm... Curiosity, mainly. Programmed life forms coming into the real world? Amazing! I mean, who would ever imagine such a thing? Now that you put it that way... You guys came here to stop the executioners, right? What do you think your chances are? Think you can do it? <laughs> Security? Bad guys? Vlad, did you? I didn't do anything! Freeze! Get your hands up! You people are under arrest! Mom! Mom, did you call security? Vlad, what was I supposed to do? I was so worried about you. Aw, oh, Mom! Can't you mind your own business? What do we do now? Whatever we do, we can't let ourselves get captured. I'm with you on that one. Shall we? Yeah.
Surrender quietly. That was easy. I assumed everyone in 4D was tough, like the Executioners. I guess the Executioners are exceptions. I guess so. The Executioners must be specially designed for the Eternal Sphere. Mm-hmm. I think you're probably right. Uh, I don't understand any of this. Here, this is for you! What's this? If you guys don't believe what I tell you, then check it out for yourselves. There's a special Eternal Sphere Terminal in Gemini. Go take a look. Vlad, stop it this instant. <laughs> Smart little brat. Let's go to Gemini, like Flad suggested, and figure out what this disc does.
looks like we can get to Gemini from here. It's like a transport. It says Gemini is an amusement city. I wonder what it's like. Don't know. We'll just have to go find out for ourselves. Mm -hmm.
No good. It's asking for an ID disk. Looks like you can't access from here unless you register first. Seriously? Ugh. And after coming all this way. Hey, do you think maybe we could use Vlad's disk? Maybe. It's worth a shot. 
Maria? Okay, this looks good. No. What's wrong? It authorized us, didn't it? What's wrong? It's like Vlad said. The Milky Way is locked. You can't get in. What should we do? What's going on? I can't believe it. I've got system administrator privileges. Huh? What? Sophia must have done something to it when she touched it. But how? All I did was touch it. I thought maybe I could do something like I did with the time gate. I wished as hard as I could that I could go to the Milky Way. I'm sorry. You used the power of connection. You connected us to the Milky Way. I can't believe it actually works in this dimension, too. At any rate, we're in. I'll grant myself access privileges to the Milky Way. Then I'll leave a Trojan that will allow me to access it whenever I want. Okay, done. Where would you like to try to go? Anywhere's fine with me. How about Moon Base? I want to make sure everyone's all right. So you want to check out Elicor too? Okay, let's go. This is... Wow! I can't believe we arrived all the way here so quickly! Unbelievable that we made it this far and we didn't even have to use the time gate. Amazing. I guess we have no choice but to believe what Vlad was telling us. So we're really just programs? Somebody made us? That's what it looks like, yes. I don't know what else to think. 
If that's true, then the death of my father, and Amina and Dion, that was all part of some program? Right. But even if we are programs, we're still alive. We have to be. If we see something as reality, then isn't that reality for us? Isn't that true? When I'm happy or sad, that's my own emotion. I don't believe that it was something someone told me to feel. I'm sure of it. You just have to believe what you feel in your heart. Let's choose to believe, Fate. Okay? Yeah. All right. Besides, if we give up now, we'll let down my father and the crew of the Aquaeli. Right. That's right. We're not done yet. We still gotta lay the smack down on that creator for what he's done to us. It's going to be dangerous. That's what being a real man is all about. Yeah, you're right. But... Can we really beat the Creator? A 4D being? Of course we can. We defeated the security team, so we know we can hurt them. You're right. We'll just have to do our best. Yeah. <laughs>